Good morning, everyone. This is Tile Creek Rock back for another exciting day here on the Ark Survival Evolve Crystal Isles map. This is day number 101 of our little adventure here, and well, I've kind of brought out my big guns to try to beat this bone brontosaur. I've got my best ember wyvern. Trying to burn him up with fire, and it's... don't know if it's working or not, really. I've been using it a lot, but I don't know if it's doing any good. But we'll see. I'll keep fighting him and hopefully get him down sometime today. This is my best option, though. This wyvern has about 600 melee. He does the fire damage. It's a lot stronger than my tropical wyvern, but it has almost no melee or no stamina, though, so he runs out of stamina really easily. And I don't think them last two fire shots even hit the bone brontosaur. So I don't know if this will work or not. Pretty sure that missed also. If I can get a shot on him here. Seems all my shots are missing right now. Yep, pretty sure all them missed. But I'm gonna get my stamina back and have another go at it. I did get a Giga Bone costume during the night. Out of a one of those yellow orange supply drops. I can't seem to hit my fire breath now. I was hitting it before. Must be doing something wrong. That hit. Finally got one on him. Don't know why all the others missed. Definitely is working. Got him on fire there. That bleeds my stamina really quick, though. Let's go grab this other Halloween supply drop and come back in a minute. I don't think it's going to make no difference if we get in a big hurry or not. I was up there fighting him during the night and I got got off my mount to pick up a spooky pile that was next to my wyvern and a stupid saber cat jumped me. Then my wyvern took off of course and left me in this turbo mess. Oh. Raptors. Not a good thing to do. Another raptor. I'm glad they can't seem to pounce you off your wyverns. That would be terrible. I've got to get back to the bone brontosaur though. That's a cool look. Back to our goal at hand, taking out a bone brontosaur. I haven't lost him. What did I do with him? If I lost my bone brontosaur. Gotta level up. There he is. level up into our wyvern here and give him a little more melee. I'm just going to put all melee into this wyvern. So if I actually got two level ups. Wow. He's got 649% melee. So if anything's got a chance of killing this bone bronto, it's going to be him. Get 
right here I can get a couple of shots on him before he gets to me. And I gotta lead him back down the hill. might be kind of a boring episode. It's the only way I even think of that I might have any shot at all at killing this thing. And I need bones really bad so I can do a do a episode for the bone skins or the emotes and the other Halloween skins that I don't have yet. I missed that really. It's kind of hard to hit them. Like that went right over him. You don't go right directly back up, he can tell we him. And there's what I, another one of those things right there is what I got off my mount to pick up the other night and got jumped by a saber tooth. Come here, Bronto, I want to give you some more fire breath. Oh, you got me from there. You're not doing a whole lot of damage, though. might actually work. He'll probably die stuck in the ground and I won't get no bones. I wish there's a way for me to check his health without getting killed, but I don't see no way. Get him back down the hill here and do that rinse and repeat this a few times. We might eventually get him. He actually looks like he might be running. Brontos do tend to kind of run when they're about dead. I kind of doubt him being about dead though. Might be, he's a running, seems to be running. I don't know why that did not hit. I think he might be running. I think it's possible we might kill a bone brontosaur. I didn't think it was possible. Might be able to do it. He's not swinging his tail at me anymore. And I'm out of stamina. I've got to get to a safe spot. And I kind of want to go get that supply drop that's up there too. He's going to run off though. Come on, stamina. This Wyvern has not got no stamina. Let's get up here and see if we can get this supply drop and then we'll go back after him. We might have him about dead because he does seem to be a running. I hope he gives me a lot of bones because this is going to be a pain to do. bone creatures I ever killed on Volgaro was Jerboas in one track. There he is. Let's see if he's mad at me. If he's not, we might check his health and just see how close we are. This might be a dumb thing to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. He's still got quite a bit of health left. If we can finish him off here. See if he's running or if he's coming toward me. I only 
have enough stamina to do about three or four passes and I have to land again. I kind of think he's running from me. So we might be able to knock this guy out today. Well, he swung at me that time. coming back toward me again. Kind of thought he'd give up chasing me. I'd like to get him back over there on that little hillside. It would be a lot easier to deal with if he'd get back over yonder. But I think he's a running now. See if we can get him to run back in this direction. I don't want to get too greedy here. I get down on the ground next to him, he might actually be able to kill me. But I think I might be able to take him out here. burns pretty good once you get him lit up. I've got to land again. My stamina is about gone. Like I said, I can only get about four passes with my stamina bar. He's running around like crazy, so he must be pretty low on health. I hope this ain't too boring an episode. It's pretty exciting for me, but I'm sure everybody else is getting pretty tired of this. I've never killed a bone brontosaur before. So this will be a first. He doesn't seem to swing at me now, so he must be about dead. Yeah, I thought he missed for a minute there. Come on, Bronto, go down. You got to be almost gone by now. Would like to do something else and see how many bones I get out of this guy. I bet I get a bunch of level ups when this guy goes down. Oh, I got him. Wow. I killed a bone brontosaur. Why can't I land? There we go. Let's see what we get from this guy. I bet we got a bunch of level ups. We had only one. I figured it'd be like an alpha creature. Looks like we got the bone. Bone Brontosaur costume in my inventory already. So that might be all we're going to get for this. He's got nothing. Did he give you a bunch of bones? He better to give you a bunch of bones, or I may have to harvest him to get the bones. Twelve. That can't be right. Got a ton of prime meat and I only got twelve bones for a Bone Brontosaur. 
that just kind of stinks. That's, I figured it would be a lot more than 12. Let's get them back to base. At least I have a few bones now. That was way too difficult. That was like a, at least a full day of fighting that thing, even after I sicked the Allosaur pack on it. So now I've got to put this stuff up, cook this prime meat. Yeah, I figured it'd be like killing an alpha creature, as hard as they are to kill. Guess I can put up my magnifier now. I've killed my first bone bronto. Ah, oh, T-Rex eggs. Always happy to get those. I do have a lot of female Rexes right now. So we might be able to make some of the better kibble pretty soon if we keep getting Rex eggs. Cook up a bunch of prime meat. Then we're going to get out on the tropical wyvern, I think, and maybe fly back to the desert because we still need dinosaur bones. Twelve is not going to make much of nothing. Twelve is pretty pathetic for a brontosaur. You would think it'd have maybe a hundred on it or something. Would have been nice if that would have been the case. Here I am cooking meat. Shouldn't be doing this. We should be out. Out hunting. Turn this off. What have we got to put up? We got to put those bones up and those skins. We got a Bronto bone skin and a Gigantosaur bone skin, which came out of a supply drop. And 12 bones. What can we make with 12 bones? Looks like the only thing. Nope, even, even a chibi takes 20 bones. There is absolutely nothing 12 bones will make. Looks like the lowest thing is 20 bones and the moats are 50 bones. Wow. That is pretty bad. So we'd have to kill a bunch of those Brontos. I don't see that happening. Let's put up this junk and get out again. Maybe we'll go back and hunt for Jerboas or something. That's pretty much a bummer. Would have thought the Bronto would have been the mother load of mother load of bones. Need to dash a bunch of bones real quick here. I get out of my inventory. Too bad you can't count the sore part vertebrae. There's bones. I got lots of those. Actually, I think I may have already had the brontosaur bone skin. Yeah, I already had a bump brontosaur bone skin. I got out of a supply drop. So that was not that great of a kid either. T-Rex egg. Gotta put the T-Rex egg up. Let's go hurry up. Let's get on with it. We're gonna go hunt your boas, I guess. Maybe we'll find a bone your boa somewhere. Take out my skeletal guy for that. And I need to load up the meat on one of these guys, I guess. You got meat. All my super high level Brontos. Or not Brontos. Why did I say Brontos? T-Rexes. Okay, what do we need to do here? We need to see first if we got any any ankylosaur eggs. I can't get around my wyverns. I don't think I do though. Nope, doesn't look like it. Let's go out and hunt crops and hunt uh, bone creatures. That brontosaur was a pretty big disappointment. I was really hoping, really hoping it had a bunch of bones on it. I was thinking thinking you get that many bones off of Jerboa, so why would you only get 12 from a Brontosaur? I don't 
how much longer I want to use the skeletal skin on the wiper. Makes it seem like I'm not riding on anything. Looks kind of cool, but... Looks cool, but it feels kind of funny. I was thinking I seen a red supply drop over this way. Maybe this one? Looks purple though from now, and it probably turns out to be a white one. I'm gonna head to the desert. Some kind of saddle there. Time of day is it? It's 1200 hours. We've got half the day left, so that brought the sword, killed it, take us as long as I thought it did. This is the tropical wyvern, so I can get water boost, even though it looks like a skeletor or skeletron. And I do have dino candy equipped on it also, so he should be zipping along at quite a speed here. If we can find some bones or boas or something, maybe we can actually get enough together to make up some of that stuff out of the cooking pot. There's so many of these drops that are just glitched out, like that one right there, that is just glitched into the rock, you can't get to it. Which kind of stinks. I guess I want to circle back up where I've seen all the T-Rexes at and see if they might be a slight chance of finding a ghost T-Rex. Or even a bone T-Rex would be great. Let's see if we can get that blue drop. I think this one's glitched out too. No, this probably ain't. This probably ain't glitched. But it'll probably have a water jar blueprint, though. No, another heavy saddle. This area through here is usually good for T-Rexes, but... Last few passes, I haven't seen any. There's another Quetzal. Is that a new Quetzal or a same old one that I've been looking at for a long time? Level 20. I think it's the same one I've seen for a while. Usually find a few Rexes right in here. Doesn't appear to be any there today, though. But right over here is a massive Allosaur pack. I'm gonna head right to the spot where I think Jerboas spawn at and see if we can find some bone Jerboas today. Because the Bronto is kind of, kind of disappointment. all this area through here it's possible to find Jerboas. Baryonyx, what level is the Baryonyx is what I'm looking at. Level 50, Spino's at 20. You guys are all going to die pretty quick. That was a good snack. Get any bags there. Let's hunt for Jerboas. There's a Pego. I probably should get rid of him because he's coming after me. Let's just skip the Pego stacks and look for Jerboas. Too bad they ain't bone Pego stacks. Jerboas are so hard to spot, you just basically have to get right up on them. Basically, just have to look for a little spot on the ground that's moving. Some frogs. Or one. That rock looked like a frog to me for some reason. And it's not. There's a spooky pile. I've discovered how spooky piles work. They usually come out once about every couple of minutes or so. They usually come out right behind where you're walking at. So if you look back every few minutes, there'll usually be one behind you. Unless you're flying. If you're flying, that doesn't work. Another baryonyx. I do need a good baryonyx. I spotted a 150. 150 
Baskos over here one day when I was out over here hunting for Traboas. Right there's another spooky pile that just came out. That is a tech raptor, isn't it? I want to get the spooky pile, but there's probably another raptor somewhere around by, close by. I've got quite a supply of these spooky pile things now, but I just can't seem to find no bones. Bones are difficult. And I do know there's lots of different bone creatures. There is a Jerboa, but it's not a bone one. At least it doesn't look like a bone one. I hate to just run around killing all the Jerboas, but it's the only way I know to get any to spawn in. Rid of all the ones that are here, and new ones are supposed to spawn in, I reckon, eventually. But I need at least 20 bones to make anything. I think I see one right in front of me. Oh, it's just a stick on the ground. I thought I'd spotted a bone or boa for a minute there, and it's a stick. these sticks. You get them turned at the right angle and you can definitely pass them off as your boas. My bad eyesight. Come on, cat. Have you seen any jerboas? Okay, we're getting into an area that ain't gonna be none up here. Let's get out of here. This is where the dangerous stuff lives. Carnos and stuff. Go down this way. Might possibly be some down in here. There's a little desert isle right over there where I found most of my Jerboas at, but I still have not found a bone one yet. But surprisingly enough, I have found a bone Jerboa costume in one of those, one of the Halloween supply drops, one of the candy corn drops. So I have found a lot of those costumes already in drops. Right here, I found quite a few bone, or quite a few Jerboas. I haven't found any bone ones though. And I've cleared this island off several times, hoping more would spawn. So let's hope we find some today. a moth has respawned up here in a Morella Tops. There's some Jerboas. Maybe that is a bone one. It looks kind of red. A green one and a red one. But none of them are bones. That green one looks really cool. I hate to kill you, poor Jerboas, but I've got to get some bones here. Four more Jeboas, but no bone ones, and there's another spooky pile popped in behind me. Gotta remember to look behind me when I stop. Get these tombstones and pumpkins and scarecrows spawning. I'm gonna kill a Morella Tops too, so he'll take a list of spawn spots up. There's another, another spooky pile. Oh, he's just going to run, ain't he? And I'm thirsting to death now. I should have checked the Morella Tops' level before I killed her. Tried to kill it anyway. That was a 25 there. Let's get rid of this one. Let's see if we can find any more Jerboas. Here, but I do not now. Probably another spooky pile behind me if I look. No, not yet. I'm sure that's on a timer. I 
Mercy Theorem and a black sheep. A black sheep. What level is the black sheep? 85. We might come and get him before we go back to base. Don't really need an 85 sheep though. Need some Jerboas. Preferably some bone Jerboas. There's a spooky pile. That actually spawned up kind of in front of me. Now oh, let's see the time. Let's see if we got time to actually keep hunting here. It is 1600 hours, so we do have a little bit of time still yet. Let's pass back over this area. This is one of the few areas that I know where Jerboas actually spawn at. Not a whole lot of spots where they spawn. Morella top so we take up one less spawn spot. He's about dead already. I'm just not finding any. There's another spooky pile. This is the scarecrow one. It's pretty pretty spooky alright. Bones really bad. Oh. And there's just nothing here. Let's go get that supply drop we see. No, it ain't down yet though. But I think this spot over here is, sometimes has jerboas. Let's look around it a little bit. I have seen a few jerboas over this way. Yeah, right there is one actually. Too bad it ain't a bone one. Where's the bone jerboas at? keep hanging around on the ground like this, we're going to be covered up in these things. I'm going to have to kill the Lystros just to get more stuff to spawn. I hate to kill Lystros. I hate to kill Jerboas too, but I don't know how else I'm going to ever get those bones. Chops. Oh, that is another Lystra waiting to. And another spooky pile. We're loading up on the spooky piles, but they're not doing us any good at all if we don't find bones. Baryonyx. 50. I think that's the same one I seen before. Let's go get this red supply drop and see if we can figure out where to find those Jerboas at. Be something good here. We need a good supply drop for once. Not a good drop. Just another heavy saddle and a mantis saddle to beat off. Heavy Mantis Saddle. Okay, let's see. Over here on this other side, I think, is a spot where I have found your boas at. Right over here, I've definitely found some on this little outcrop of rock. 
I don't mean there'll be none here today, but I have seen them right over here. And I'm a cooking. Chiboas are the any over here today. Does not appear to be none on this little place where I found them before at. I actually found my Aki Optrix right up there in front of me, just a little ways. Up against some of those rocks. The Dodicris is still here. He was here when I tamed the Octioptrix. Octioptrix. What is that up there by the Thorny Dragon? I don't want to get near the Thorny Dragons because they will attack me. Let's head on around. There's more spots up here where I have seen your boas. Pego. Jerboas are proven difficult to find. And the bone ones are proven impossible to find. Probably stop and get a spooky pile pop up behind me. No, it probably done did up through there somewhere. Yep, your boas are just extinct apparently. I ain't finding any. This is some of the best spots right through here. I'm flying back around this way to see if any spooky piles are around here that I might have missed. I'm sure I did. up this way. I'm about to run out of ideas of places to look for Jerboas. They're not all over the map. But I have seen them up these little sand pathways up on this little area right here. There's a hyena dawn pack so if there was any around here they would have killed them already. a rock golem. I think that is a 150 rock golem. I have found a 150 up here somewhere. That it? Yeah, that is it. That is a 150 rock elemental. Terrible mess going on down there. There's an awful pretty Argentavis. Purple, blue. Leveler you Argentavis. 145. Boy, that is a nice one. I'll have to come back and tame that at some point. Forty-five purple right down here is where that basilisk is. There's a 150 basilisk down in here somewhere. It basically killed everything when I was down here. I think it was right over in this little corner. Let's see if we can find him really quick. If we see him, it'll be in the ground and I won't be able to tell. But I did find a 150 basilisk over in this corner somewhere here. It could be anywhere in these trees which means it would be impossible to find without just walking through there on foot and triggering it. But if I ever find out you can tame a basilisk on wyvern eggs, I may have to come back over here and try to find him. Let's get out of here. It's starting to get dark on us. I think I'm going to take that black sheet back to base and stick a veggie cake in it. Call it. I'm running kind of heavy now. We've come up pretty much empty on the Jerboa bones. Yep. I kind of have a 
feeling I'm going to take the bone or the black sheep back home and call it for today. Check the time really quick here while I'm getting my stamina back. It is 1900 hours. So yep, I'm probably just going to go ahead and end this video off right here. I'm gonna, all I'm going to do is take this sheep back to base and tame it up. But anyway, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And thanks for watching. This is Tyler Creek Rock on the Crystal Isles map, signing out.